CNYK printing for beginners and in this video I'm gonna show you the basic things you need to know when it comes to screen printing full color images and I broke it down into five different steps to make it easier for you guys to understand what I'm trying to say and just know that everything that you're gonna see in this video is for educational purpose only now let's get to work but before we start what's CNYK so there's many different types of techniques when it comes to screen printing Spot color printing, half tone printing, grayscale printing, simulated process printing, CMYK printing, and a couple more. Now, CMYK printing is created by four different colors cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And when you combine all those colors together, it gives you a full color image. Just like those small little printers that you have in your house, almost the same thing. As a screen printer, I feel like it's essential for you to learn CMYK printing. Because it's gonna give you more options. It's gonna give your customer more options. It's gonna give your business an opportunity to expand. Me, when I started screen printing, I only had that four color press and I was very limited. Now, with that extra skill, I was able to take out different orders. Plus, my knowledge in screen printing grew, not just when it came to the labor, but also in the graphic designing department. All right, we're gonna start with the artwork and we're not gonna go so into depth with this step. We're gonna keep everything very simple. Now, the software that I use is called Corel Draw. First, I'll grab my image and I'll convert it into bitmaps. After that, it gets converted into halftones. And these are the settings that I use. 15 for cyan, 75 for magenta, 90 for yellow, and 45 for blacks. And the max dot ratio is three. Now that everything's converted into halftones, try to make that image a little bit lighter than the actual color. Because when you start printing over here, things tend to get a little darker. Now, when it comes to printing my transparency film, I just go to my color settings and I'll put separation. And it's gonna separate each color. And that's pretty much it. Step number two. And I didn't record none of this because I already have a video explaining how to burn a screen. But if you guys really do wanna see the whole process, let me know in the comments. But I did do two small adjustments. Now, the mesh that I use is 305. And one of the adjustments that I did, I lowered the temperature on my burning settings. Usually I burn my screens at two minutes. Now I burn them at a minute and a half. And the second adjustment that I did, I quitted my screen two times in the back and one time in the front. Then I went back to the back and I scraped and I scraped and I did the same thing for the front. And I scraped a little bit more than usual so I could have a nice even flat layer of emotion on both sides of the screen. And this is something extra that I did because when it comes to washing out half tones, it could be a small hassle, especially if you don't have the right equipment. Now, when it comes to using the right types of inks for this type of technique, I would recommend to get process inks. First, because we're using high mesh screens and these inks right here are very, very soft. Second, they mix and match very well. So they give you the exact colors that you're looking for. And third, I feel like they're more concentrated. That's why you get exactly the color that you're looking for. But you might have to quote me on that because I'm not a thousand percent sure. But look, just look. Look at the smoothness of this. Now, you can find these types of inks at International Coatings. I've been working with these type of inks for the last two years for my CNYK projects. And I haven't changed or looked for any other inks because they have done the job. But if you do know of other inks that work great as well, let me know in the comments. So my screens are already lined up and ready to go, but I'm not gonna go so into depth with this step because I already did a couple videos on how to register multicolor prints. But if you do wanna learn, I am gonna attach two videos at the end of this video, just in case you wanna learn. Now, what's the best order to print? Now, I see a lot of people that like to print C and Y, K, but me personally, I like to start with from the lightest color all the way to the darkest. I start with yellow, second magenta, third cyan and the last one black and in case you're wondering why do you start from the lightest to the darkest well since this technique is wet on wet and let's say I print magenta first and then yellow eventually that magenta it's gonna get inside of the screen of the yellow and it's gonna throw away my ink it's gonna change the color of my ink but vice versa if I start with the yellow and then the magenta and a little bit of the yellow goes inside of the screen of the magenta it won't be a big difference, you won't notice it because the yellow is really light, if that makes any type of sense. I feel like I've been talking for too long. Now, it's time to get to work. And I'm not gonna edit this part or slow it down or cut it or anything. I'm gonna show you the exact moment so you can see the beauty of screen printing. Let's get to work. Let me lower this down right here. Let me get you closer right here. I'm gonna start with the yellow. Here we go. 
Here we go. Let me move you here. All right. Let's get to work. So we start with the yellow. I'm gonna give you two passes. Look at that yellow. Beautiful. Now we're gonna start with the magenta. No. I mean, now the second is magenta. Look at that. Beautiful. Then comes the Zion. Zion. Look at that. Sheesh. And the black, the black gives it like the, the outline. And I'm only gonna hit it once because, because it's, it, it'll make it too dark if I hit it twice. Now look at that. Look at that beauty. Let me focus. What do you think? Pretty beautiful, huh? Now, we're gonna talk about the quality of the print. But I'm no expert, I still have a lot to learn. But I've been using this technique for the past two years. And I can tell you this, that each design has a different challenge. But that's good because each design always brings something new for you to learn. But this is something that I found out. If you wanna have the best prints, you're gonna have to have the best designs. Because the best designs have the best resolution. And that's what's going to determine on how well the print is going to look here on the press. Now I'm going to give you an example. This print that I just did, didn't have the best resolution. It was a bit pixelated. Because it wasn't an original picture from me. It was a copy and paste. So whenever I printed it, it didn't give me the best results. Now compare this print to the other one. This design is actually mine. So it had the best resolution. Can you notice the difference? And I almost forgot to tell you guys that this type of technique, you can only use it on light garments. You could use it on dark garments, but it's gonna need an underbase and a small little changes. Now, I'm gonna talk about this topic in another video because I feel like I missed so many things. But I'm gonna bring an expert so they can help us grow, they can teach us, and they can explain things a bit better than I can. Hopefully this video helped in any way. Thank you guys so much for the love and the support. Have a beautiful day, and God bless you all. And whoever watched the video all the way to the end, drop your favorite soccer player in the comments, because I'm going to give that shirt away. Now let's go play some soccer. <laughs>